hey everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so um today apparently i'm rudolph the red nosed reindeer and i was picking up my nose like i have a black head and i can't get it out and i don't know what's been going on down here if you watch my vlogs i talked about it like i don't know what that is or whatever um and then i literally just used a shaver like on the top of my eyebrow so i'm a little red but um today i want to do like a fun look i don't know what colors i'm gonna use yet i don't know what i'm doing but i want to do something fun colorful i'm blending in with the background because i have a black shirt on um <laughs> and like i don't know anyway but i know that i will be using my james charles palette i have not used these greens like i've basically not used these like at all I'm really drawn to the greens and the blues I mean like I'm really drawn to the entire bottom two rows but we're just gonna see where this takes us so I'm gonna start out with some shape tape in the shade fair on my eyes like I literally never start out with my eyes or I don't usually start out with my eyes but today I'm definitely gonna do that um Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Um, and I'm not gonna set this. I've never done this before. I think I'm gonna start out with this lime green color. No, I'm scared of green. I guess I'm just gonna go all over the lid with it. Okay, maybe this is gonna be better. I changed the mode on my camera, so. Now I'm just taking this brush, blending it out. So, uh, by the way, this is a Judy Allen Company brush. It's the number ES07. I'm gonna take that same brush, go into the hunter green, like the darker green, and stamp that on the outer corner. Zoom in a little bit more. So. Now, I think I'm going to take concealer again, put it on the inner corner. This is a Morphe brush, just looks like this. And I'm going to try to cut the crease. Okay, do I want to do green or do I want to do blue? I think I'm going to do blue. That was, that was this blue. I'm gonna do this blue. Okay. Now I'm gonna take that light shimmer and pop that on the inner corner. Alright, so. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, even though I'm not sure about this. Um, I just might have to blend some more and I'll figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, hi. Um, I feel like I look insane. Um, but we're gonna roll with it, okay? We're just, we're gonna roll with it. This is how we look in. I added some yellow up here as well to blend it a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to cover this face up. Y'all, all these wet my bottles leak. Whew. This is the rose primer water. I think I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution and C3, is that on this coin? It's F6, I was way off. <laughs> my concealer is C3. I think I want to pour filling primer. I don't know on my hands like this. This is my Cover FX Blur Stuff Blur Blurring Primer. I 
Oh, I'm also trying out my elf sponge. Where's the packaging? I have the packaging. It is the elf total face sponge. Use wet or dry. It just looks like this. It's the one that's this color, obviously. It's really soft. Like really soft. Now I'm using the tart. It might be too light because it's in there. Uh huh. That's not that bad. I'm gonna use this edge. Take it all up in my. Y'all, I forgot how much I love shaking. No. I'm just kidding. I woke up like this. Sorry, my phone is buzzing, y'all. I'm just so popular, you know? Okay, now that you look like a cake face, you're gonna look like an even more cake face. And you're, we're gonna use our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's really yellow, so it's gonna be good for like, when you get tan. Yeah, how yellow it is. But like, I'm um, like olive, so I mean, like I have an olive undertone, so it kind of works. It does look a little yellow on me though, but once I'll get more tan, I think this will be perfect. Alright, tart. Park Avenue Princess. Oh. I use like all of the brown shades. I'm gonna try to contour. Not just brown. Okay. Okay, let's finish the eyes. Cause like I'm I'm dying and like I don't want my camera to die. Guys, it's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna die. Um I'm gonna take a bit of the burnish right here. We're gonna go into the lime green real quick and we're just gonna go on the edge. The outer edge. I'm y'all this man makes so many noises. Now we're gonna take the dark green, put that out there, <laughs> put that out there, sound like a country bumpkin. I'm crazy. And you know, I still feel like this is not blended, but uh, I really tried. I really did. Here's the lighter blue. that under layer. Get you some blue under layer here. Take that darn there blue. You're just gonna put this one right here though. This time. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And if you didn't blend this enough, I'm just gonna go with the layer. And try to blend it some more because you know. It's not the shadows, it's the person. Um, and then I'm gonna take this small brush from earlier and take that icy blue shade and just pop that on the inner corner. So now we're gonna take a liquid liner. <laughs> we're gonna try our hardest to do on the line, okay? Guess you know where those country folks here. <laughs> we don't know how to do them. <laughs> I'm getting better. That's what progress looks like, okay? We're gonna need some progress on this blending, but you know, one step at a time, guys, okay? Well, I need some blush. 
put it in my oak palette. There it is. Alright, this is my elf. A very dusty palette, apparently. I haven't used it in a minute. Um, but it looks like this. How, what color? I think I'm, I think I'm gonna mix these two. <laughs> I'm so sorry if there's like dust flying everywhere. Uh, this is my Revlon stippling brush. You can buy it from Walmart. Oh, I really hope that my camera does not die. Please don't die. It's on a little battery. Okay. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I put my lashes on and did my eyebrows and all that. So, I didn't do the best job with my lashes, but it'll be alright. So I'm going to go ahead and take some black from my James Charles palette and i um, just going to take a random brush. It doesn't really matter. Well, I mean it kind of does, I guess, if you want it like really precise. But, um, I'm gonna go over my lash band because I did get some glue on there, and it's just gonna make it look as natural as a <laughs> lash band is gonna look. Um, but yeah, also, I don't know why, but the blue on this side, like the dark blue, is just like not cutting it for me like I don't know why it looks weird it looks almost like chalky but like that doesn't make sense you know so I think that looks a little bit better um anyway am I doing oh I need highlighter okay so I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill uh champagne pop so i'm gonna use champagne pop i have the palette thing but you could still get champagne pop like single so i'm mixing champagne pop and prosecco pop but um yeah yeah get rose spritz right here sorry this one is kind of shimmery and I'm just gonna dab that in there and add a little bit to my cheeks. I don't usually like shiny cheeks, but I mean, I'm getting into the dewy stuff now. Like, I thought that I would never ever say that. Wow, that sounds so superficial. I thought that I would never ever say that because, like, I'm always oily or always have been oily. And so, um,. But I think that's just really pretty. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Dewy Set. And we're going to sit. This is probably not a good idea to do this. With my eyes. Like done. Like I probably should have set my face when I was done. But... A lip color and I have no idea what to do honestly it's probably gonna be a nude because like what do you put bright, like bright colors Yeah, that looks good. So here is Brink from ColourPop. It's a lippy sticks. And then I'm going to put my e.l.f. Mocha Twist on the, my, uh, this lip gloss. 
can I make full sentences? Mocha twist lip gloss on, on top. And this Mocha Twist, I love it so much. It's got so much pigment in it. I mean, obviously I have a lipstick on under it. But, um, just like by itself, it's really pretty. Like I throw it on like if I'm in a rush, like going to work or something. And it's a plumping lip gloss. And I feel it like working. Which obviously like I don't need that. But like, um, I feel it working. But like it's not too intense of like a minty flavor or whatever like minty sting or whatever but anyway finally done um i really like it after i like i'm glad that i kept going because i like it like in the end you know like i always i'm always like oh my gosh like what is this gonna look like but um you know i just love like dewy skin now i don't know what my problem is i look like an old slick at the end of the day but i don't care because i like it um anyway um i'm glad that i kept going with this because i really do like the outcome and i need to start doing more looks like this i hope that y'all enjoyed this video um and don't forget to hit like don't forget to subscribe because like i have like y'all on my hair cutting video i have like 250 um views right now and only 93 subscribers what's up with that what's up with that <laughs> anyway um but yeah so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the next one <laughs> i'm just kidding my friend Oh, you look like Mona Lisa. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> Just. Oh. Okay, so you, you can not play like that? Yeah, my tripod is playing. Okay.